Well, the path is set for a Joe Biden-Donald Trump rematch. Today, Nikki Haley suspended her presidential campaign after winning just one of the 15 Republican contests on Super Tuesday. That was in Vermont. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich joins us live from the newsroom tonight. Connor, the field of presidential candidates is pretty much down to two. It is, John, and while Nikki Haley made history, becoming the first woman to win a Republican primary, it still wasn't enough. And now the biggest question remains, who will get Haley's voters? After putting up a fierce fight for the GOP nomination, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley is ending her presidential bid. The time has now come to suspend my campaign. I said I wanted Americans to have their voices heard. I have done that. Haley's exit from the race comes after former President Trump's dominant Super Tuesday win. Virginia Tech political expert Karen Holt says outcomes locally could have played a role in the former South Carolina governor's withdrawal from the race. Somewhat of a surprise, perhaps, that, that Nikki Haley withdrew early, earlier today, though that, that clearly was in the cards when she not, did not do as well as she expected in either Massachusetts or Virginia especially. In her exit speech, Haley congratulated but did not endorse the former president. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. One question Holt and many others have, who will get Haley's supporters? Those people arguably are up for grabs, but again, we don't know what they'll actually do once they get into the voting booth. The two front runners for 2024 taking different approaches to Haley's withdrawal. Former President Trump posting to social media saying Nikki Haley got trounced last night, while President Biden saying there's a place for Haley supporters in his campaign. Both Trump and Biden have more than half of the delegates needed to secure their party's nomination. And with Haley exiting the race, we will soon get a preview of the general election between President Biden and former President Trump. They both have scheduled campaign events in Georgia this weekend. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.